It's something different about my trip when I walk in, they always stare. I can see right through your act and your intentions are so clear. Don't say a word, I just fall back and act like you were never here. What you heard, I get the bag invested, triple by next year. The way I flex, yeah. Okay, okay. Why you make it so complicated? Off the train, we concentrate. I know you won't leave me hang. Hey, loves, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. As you guys can see, I have some new beautiful hair to share with you guys today. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a full get ready with me transformation. Starting with installing this wig, trying out and picking out some contact lenses, and also me getting this full makeup look today. So if you guys want to watch me transform from my natural, dark-eyed, shoulder-length, curly-haired self into this majestic, icy gray-eyed, 24-inch, long-haired goddess, then just keep on watching. I'm gonna quickly just be kind of showing you the whole process today. I do have more in-depth videos of me actually installing my wigs and also more in-depth videos of me doing my makeup. If you're interested, I will have them linked down below. Be sure to check the description box down below because I will have everything that I mentioned and showed in today's video listed and linked down below. Be sure to follow me over on Instagram so we can stay connected a little bit more and be sure to get comfortable. Grab yourself something to drink or eat or go ahead and get ready to to get ready with me, we're gonna go ahead and start at the way beginning from me and my little sig braid self. So first things first to applying any wig that is to create a nice flat base. You guys know I love to always just put my hair back in some cornrows. I have some long nails on. So I actually had to get someone else to braid my hair down. And I always like to go ahead and sew up the ends of my hair like this. I'll crisscross them over. And I'm just going to go ahead and take needle and thread and stitch this down. So that it creates a really nice extra flat base. Everything's going to be secure. And before applying my wigs, I also am sure to use my Kenya Natural Hair Growth Oil. This oil contains peppermint oil, natural rosemary, rose oil, lavender and many more natural oils. It has hair growth properties to stimulate the scalp and it is extremely, extremely nourishing and moisturizing to the hair and the scalp as well. And this is a black owned woman brand. So I will have that link down below if you guys wanna check it out. Apply that all between my braids and allow it to really soak into my scalp. It's really important to keep your hair and your scalp moisturized while wearing wigs and to still take care of your natural hair. When you open up the box, they did include some goodies. So as you guys can see, there's this cute blue little pouch that says Mega Look. They also included a pair of eyelashes, as you guys can see. When you open up the little goodie bag, inside you'll find a two-pack of wig caps. A little satin hair tie or scarf, a edge tool and brush, another pair of lashes, as well as a cute little shimmery hair clip. I love when companies include extra little gifts and goodies because it just shows that they care about the customer. Wig is in a separate plastic bag that is labeled 24 inches and there is a hair net around the wig as well as a little piece of foam and these hair clips to help keep the shape of the front of the wig. This wig is made with transparent lace which allows it to look so much more natural. A lot of lace front wigs have very thick lace and are usually tinted to a specific color, but as we know, everyone is a different skin tone and a different skin complexion. So I love that this wig comes with transparent lace. The transparent lace makes it where you really do not have to bleach the knots. You don't have to plug the hairline or do anything extra. As you guys can see, there is lace ear to ear as well as in the back of the wig. And then there's normal wefts in the middle and center of the wig. The wig does come with three combs in the front and on the sides as well as a comb in the back and adjustable straps in the back of the wig as well. There's not an insertable elastic band, but there's a pre-sewn in elastic stretchy band in the wig. It is 180% density and this wig is extremely thick and beautiful. I did go ahead and shampoo, condition, and let the wig air dry overnight. And this is what the wig looks like the next day on my foam wig head. Again, I did not bleach the knots. I did not squeeze the hairline or do anything to the wig except for wash it. I will say that I experienced 
noticed a little bit of shedding during the washing and detangling process. I didn't lose that much hair and it didn't look like the wig thinned out or anything, but I did notice some shedding during the washing process, so I did just want to mention that. I did go ahead and flip the wig inside out on my wig head and then I am going ahead and taking a brush and some powder and just applying this to the inside of the lace. Again, I didn't go ahead and bleach the knots or tweeze the hairline, so I did want to apply a little bit of powder that's a little more of my skin tone just to again help make it look a little bit more natural. I am gonna go ahead and be using the got to be glue method for this wig, so I'm going to be applying three very thin and smooth layers of this got to be glue gel to my hair and directly behind my baby hairs. I'm not gonna go too in depth, I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm doing to apply it. In today's video, I'm just gonna be showing you guys basically the transformation, how I created the look using this wig today. So once I apply that third layer of got to be glue, I am going ahead and applying the wig. I'm leaving the lace on just so I can honestly grip it and pull it down forward. Sometimes I leave it on, sometimes I don't. And I'm gonna, I think, put the hair up. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the lace forward and then push it down and move it sideways like this into my hairline right there as you guys can see and use my nails to like really push everything in and then I'm gonna work my way side to side and just continue to really push that lace into that glue right there because the lace is so transparent as you guys can see I'm able to see my baby hairs right through it so that's not a problem at all I'm gonna cut just right here and right here so that I have more leverage. So once everything is looking like it's placed kind of where I want it to be, I apply a scarf and let everything really set a little bit more. I use the cute little scarf that they sent in the package. I'm gonna take one of these little razor things and I'm gonna go ahead and cut away all of this excess lace. So I just went in really roughly with this and just cut the lace all around as you guys can see in the process and just because I obviously didn't glue down everything perfectly, there's a bunch of lace lifting all around however the hairline is looking really good still nonetheless just because it is really natural looking so i'm gonna go ahead and just be taking the got to be glue again and i'm gonna use these clips a little more and try to lift up that front edge as you can see like this of the hair so I can go in and really apply some glue. I do sometimes like to use a rat tail comb but for this because I have these nails on I'm just gonna use my nail and start like dotting it and kind of sliding it where it needs to go. So once I have that applied I'll kind of just leave it because some hair is a little more globby than others but we haven't done our baby hairs yet, so I don't really mind. I'm just going to let it get really tacky. I'm going to come back with a rat tail comb. And I'm just going to take a rat tail comb and use this to, like, push everything into place. Put everything down like so. So as you guys can see, that went ahead and just kind of melted everything down. Everything isn't 100% dry yet. But once I lay this scarf, it's all really going to set into place. This definitely just helped lay everything a lot better. After letting it set for about 10 minutes, I'm going to remove this scarf. And everything is nice and dry now. I'm going to go ahead and add some mousse to this hairline. I want to push back the hairline and the hair out of my face and kind of start to shape it and then I am going to start to just swoop the baby hairs how I want a little bit once I have everything like swooped and shaped how I like I am going to go in with the got to be glue to actually set my baby hairs guys I'm like obsessed Obsessed with this hairline everything is still a little bit wet I still have the got to be glue on it but as you guys can see it's really melted into the skin nicely I didn't do my part or anything yet but I am gonna go ahead and just throw the scarf 
back on my hairline one more time let everything really set into place so i just want to show you guys this hair it is a 24 inch wig like i mentioned it's so long so thick like so thick the hair feels so thick but in the best way possible guys i just love how long and full this hair is okay i'm going to put an actual part in this hair I'm gonna go ahead and take some more of that mousse so that I can really shape it how I want to. I'm gonna be putting this mousse on the top as you guys can see and I'm gonna work it like this and then I'm gonna use my fingers mostly because I already used the comb to really part it. I'm just more so trying to figure out how I want the hair to lay and kind of situating that. So once I have it all really nice and flat, and this is what I'm left with. Before the part was more defined because I already have put eyeshadow in it. So I'm gonna wait for this to dry a little bit and I'll be putting eyeshadow and going back into the part. But for now, I'm gonna focus on the curls because I just messed with it. Obviously the hair is a little bit frizzy. So I'm going to wet the hair. I have them right in front of my sink. I am going to be going ahead and taking this Cantu Deep Treatment. I usually don't really like to use this too much on my natural hair, so I'm going to be using it on this hair because this is what I have. I am using this just to add a little bit more moisture and definition to these curls. It's also going to add a really nice smell. And I'm focusing this mostly on the ends of the hair. Ends of the curls are a little bit tighter, but all throughout the hair, maybe it's just because the hair is really long. But as you guys can see, the waves are pretty loose. I've had a lot of deep wave hair in the past, and usually deep wave hair is a bit tighter. Now, that's not a problem to me at all. I think this is extremely beautiful. Just do keep that in mind that this is much looser um, of a deep wave. And then I'm going to be taking this Africa's Best hair oil and adding this on top. Not that the hair needs it. I'm just being a little bit extra because I actually just love how these curls look so much. I kind of want them to just pop a little bit more so this is what the hair is looking like I'm gonna let everything air dry and set and I'm gonna go ahead again and apply a scarf to the front of the hair so if you're just interested in how I continue to style this hair and a little bit of a quick review then go ahead and skip ahead now if you guys want to see how I do my makeup and get this full transformation then just keep on watching for today's look I do want to go ahead and put some contacts in and I am gonna be using a pair from TTDI I'm not too sure what color I want to wear yet so I figured I'd go ahead and share with you guys the four lenses that they went ahead and sent over to me I love TTDI's packaging they sent me over this box right here with super Super colorful and they always send over like stickers different glitters or extra little goodies in the box that just make it look so cute and fun as you guys can see and they also send a, a contact case for each pair of contacts that you purchase and also just in case you're interested you can purchase any of these contacts with or without prescription I do get all of mine without prescription so I will have each pair of lenses linked down below in case you want to check them out and I also have a coupon code which is Ariana in case you want to save some money at checkout it's not sponsored or anything I just do have a coupon code in case you guys want to save some money and do want to check them out so I'm gonna go ahead and try on each pair of lenses so you guys can see them and I can decide which I want to wear today as you guys can see my natural eyes are dark dark brown so this is the Himalayan green as you guys can see they show up really really well on dark colored eyes I wouldn't say that these are the most natural colored green. They're honestly more of like a vibrant color green. But they are still very, very wearable as you guys can see. They don't look extremely crazy on. But they are super, super bright and vibrant like I said. So I really, really love these. If you guys see around my eyes are a little red or my eyes are red. It's because I have super sensitive eyes. So when I put the lenses in, my eyes always water. So I just have to like catch the tears. The lenses don't irritate or burn my eyes. Like they always just water. I'll wipe away the water and then it's fine. So I still continue to wear them. Yeah, these are Himalaya green. These are the Himalaya brown. Out of the eye, these actually look like they're orange. But when I put them in my eyes, as you guys can see, they actually do look brown. 
brown, if not even more gray. These might want to be one of my favorite pairs. I feel like these are very, very wearable and definitely like everyday contacts if you just want a little bit of like a lighter lens. Like, as you guys can see, they look more of like a grayish brown, and they add, obviously, like a lighter eye to my face. And I love how these show up in my eyes. Again, I love, love, love that TTDI offers contacts that really do show up and work on dark colored eyes. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell, but I actually have the last two pairs of contacts in. I have Himalaya blue in this eye right here and I have Himalaya gray in this eye right here. I wasn't too sure which one I want to go with. I think I'm leaning towards the gray ones, but the blue are really pretty too. These are both like the lighter ones and I definitely wanted to wear one of these out of the four because I don't know, it's just so different for me having such dark eyes. As you can see, the gray one is similar to the blue because it's a blue tone gray. However, the blue is so much more vibrant and color and it really really pops so I'm really not sure which ones I want to wear. Be sure to comment down below which lenses were your favorite on me. Himalaya green, Himalaya brown, Himalaya blue, or Himalaya gray. I'm going to go ahead and put the other Himalaya gray on into this eye and take out the blue and then I'm going to set you guys up and we're going to go ahead and jump on into the makeup and finish off this transformation. I always like to put my contacts in first before I do my makeup. Because like I mentioned, I do have sensitive eyes, so my eyes always tend to water a little bit. With that in mind, I've worn contacts and gotten contacts from TTDI for years now, and I've never had like an eye breakout or crazy irritation. I always put the contacts in, my eyes water a little bit, and I'll just get like a little tissue and just get like the tears or anything and then let them just adjust to my eyes and get used to it before I do my makeup. So again, I'm wearing Himalaya gray in my eyes today. And I already toned my skin with witch hazel. And I also already moisturized with some rose hip oil. I am going to put some music on and just kind of skip through me doing my makeup. I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit and start with the eyes. Why you make it so complicated? Off the train, we concentrated. I know you won't leave me hanging. Smoking weed out the container. Is it hot in here or is it just me? I'm so high in here, been smoking on this weed. Told them go and take a shot on three. Told them drinks, it's on me. Yeah, the drinks are on me I said now go and take a shot on me Only drug a bitch you saw is the tree But I last until I was like a freak, like a G So this is the complete makeup look. I'm going to go ahead and remove the hair clips and I'm going to go ahead and define this parting space a little bit more. I'm going to take that same eyeshadow palette that I used in the beginning and I'm going to take a smaller shader brush like this one. I'm just going to go in and define that part. And then it looks much more natural as you can see because the part is much more defined and looks like scalp. And this hair guys is fully dry now and the curls are still so defined as you can see. The hair is so soft and it has so much movement. 
It's bouncy and it's thick all the way to the ends of the hair, which is why I love. I don't think I'm going to add layers. Like, I think I'm going to leave it like this because it's just giving me such, like, angelic Pocahontas vibe. And this transparent lace melted into the skin so well. And the hairline looks so good with my natural baby hairs. I absolutely love the packaging for Mega Look Hair. It is super high quality and I loved everything that they included in the box. The construction of this wig cap is so well made and this transparent lace was so easy to work with and melted directly into my hairline. As you guys saw, I applied the wig directly on my hairline with the got to be glue and it melted in so well. I did not have to bleach the knots, I did not have to pluck this hairline. All I did was wash it, braid my hair, install this wig, add some eyeshadow to the part, lay down my baby hairs and this is it again this wig is 24 inches it's 180 percent density it honestly feels like it's like 200 percent density this hair is so thick and so so soft as you guys see i keep running my fingers through it and it's not getting really frizzy or anything in the beginning of the video when i was styling the hair you guys saw it did get a little bit frizzy just when i was adjusting the part but as soon as i added some water the curls bounced right back and i just added the curl cream and oil to the hair and as you guys can see the hair is still super soft and has movement and the curls are super nicely defined this is definitely high quality hair and a very good quality wig so i definitely recommend it i mean i just installed it so i can't give you guys a full in-depth review however i will be wearing this wig so stay tuned for my next video if you guys want to hear my thoughts but just off the bat you guys know i try so many wigs out i can tell by the cap construction and the quality of the wig itself in the hair after washing it installing it and just dealing with it that this hair is very nice quality hair. The only thing I will say, like I mentioned, when I was washing the hair, I experienced a little bit of shedding. And when I was styling the hair, I experienced a little bit of shedding. However, as you guys see, I've been touching the hair and running my fingers through it. Now, I'm not raking my fingers through it, but I'm not getting any shedding just when I'm playing with the hair and once it's styled. It was just while I was washing the hair and really like detangling it, switching the part and combing through it and everything that I did experience a little bit of shedding. So I just will mention that. But again, this is curly hair. It's extremely long. Long. natural hair does shed I just always like to mention anything that you guys might be wanting to know before you go ahead and purchase it however I do not think that's a reason to not purchase this wig nor would I not recommend this wig I actually would definitely recommend this wig especially for summer and springtime coming up it is just so beautiful I feel like this is the type of wig you can wear on vacation to the beach to like a pool party to like anything out and get wet because when it gets wet it still has that same texture it's very thick this wig is extremely thick so when it gets wet it's not gonna look all thin and like shriveled up or anything it's just gonna look really beautiful effortless and just really good no matter what so I really really love textures like this again this is in a deep wave however I feel like it's more of like a tight loose wave I wouldn't say it's as tight as most normal deep wave wigs however like I said the wave pattern is so 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 beautiful as always I will have the specs the direct link to this wig and all of the information and everything you need to know linked down below in the description box if you want to check out Kenya hair oil I'll have it linked down below I will list everything that I use in today's makeup look and I will also have these contacts linked down below as well this is the final look and it is super glowy and kind of like my everyday makeup look I do feel like the contacts definitely elevate the look and make everything just a little bit more glam and extra. I absolutely love contacts for that reason. They can elevate any makeup look, any hair look, any outfit, and can just switch up your whole mood and look. So definitely be sure to check out the description box if you want to try out some contacts for yourself. Again, if you want a more in-depth makeup look, I will have my latest Get Ready With Me link down below. But I did want to show you guys a full transformation because honestly, for the last like week and a half, I have just been wearing my natural hair up in the bun and I've just been in like quarantine mode super lazy and super like blah so I just wanted to get myself together and pull together a whole new look I decided to take you guys with me and record it as well to give you guys some inspiration and just some motivation to get cute and pull yourselves together and create a new look or try something new even if it's quarantine or you're gonna stay in the house or just go to the grocery store or just go to eat somewhere it's okay, still switch it up and try new things and enjoy yourselves. If you guys want to stay connected with me a little bit more, be sure to follow me over on Instagram. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and share this video with a family or friend that you think would enjoy as well. And if you made it to the end of the video, I love you so, so, so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on my next one. Mwah. Bye, guys.